Welcome to EZLM Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be learning on Form 2 Mathematics and our topic is Statistics. Our subtopic is Classes of Data. So previously we were using raw data, converting it into a frequency distribution table. So today we are going to learn how to convert that data in a grouped data or classes of data. So there are some key terms that we are going to be talking about in this section. So it is important to remember them because they are going to enable us to move to the next set of us, um, content. So group data, the first thing that we need to be able to get is how many classes do, are we going to be having? If you have classes between six and 12 classes, that is the accepted we don't want less or more than that because if you have more than that, it's going to have a lot of data. If you have less, it's not going to give us enough uh, information because of the squeezed, how squeezed it's going to be. So what we do, we pick the smallest value in the data and the biggest value, we get the difference. When we get the difference now, we can decide if our, the width of the data we want to use is four or five or 10 or 15. And then when we do the division, we get the classes we want. I'm going to show you that how we do that. And then uh, when we get now the, the specific classes, let's want, want to get ones that have a difference of four or five, then we are able to get uh, specific classes and we usually call them the boundary, class boundary, like between 30 and 40, 30 and 40 are class boundaries. The actual boundaries is the values between 29.5 and values between 35, 39.5. So the values in between here are the ones that fall into these class boundaries. So values above 29.5 and less than 39.5 are the ones that are in this boundary. So 29.5 and 39.5 are usually referred to as the limit. So let's take an example of this data, for example. You notice this data has four classes. And I'm going to show you how we are able to identify the class to use and how many classes we are going to get from a set of data. So you can see we have the classes, we have the midpoints. Midpoints are usually forms the values of X in our data and they're usually gotten by taking the, the limit, subtracting and dividing by two. So you're going to get 40 plus 30, then you divide by two, you'll get 35. So you're going to do the same case with all the other class boundaries, you get the midpoint, which is going to form our values of X. These values of X are going to be important because remember how we calculate our means also uses these values of X. But you are going to get that there later in a, in a later lesson. So let's get an example of data. We convert it into a group data so that those key terms that we are talking about will come out clearly. So we have this masses of kilograms of 50 women in our clinic which are recorded. So this is raw data. It hasn't been uh, recorded. So we want to record it in a frequency distribution table, but in this case in a grouped setting. So the first thing we want to get is the highest value. That is what we see. So that we can be able to know how many classes we are working with. So the highest value you notice is we have 79 we have 80 here, we have 84.2. Let's see if we have a bigger value than that. So the biggest value is 84.2. And then the smallest value is, we have 42, we have 45, uh, 40. We have a 40 here. Let's see if we have a 30. So actually 40. 0.6 is the lowest value. So if you do this subtraction, that is going to be 84.2 minus 40.6, you're going to get 43.6. I want my grouped data, the class boundaries, to have a difference of four. Let's try with four and see. If the, 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 the differences between the class boundaries is four, we, let's see how many classes that we can be able to get. We can get uh, approximately 10.9 classes or 10 classes. If I want uh, to, to have a difference of five in my class boundaries, let's see how much you're going to have for that. 
it's going to be like around eight uh eight classes so i can pick the one that has uh, more classes it will be more beneficial because it's going to cover more data so this is what i mean by that so if i've chosen uh, the class boundaries to have a difference of four that means you're going to start with the lowest value which is going to be 40 so we're going to have 40 to 44 you see where the four is coming in the four that you are dividing so the next one is going to be 45 to 49 and then 50 to 54 and then 55 to 59 and then 60 to 64 and then 65 uh, to 69 70 to 74 then 75 to 79 80 to 84 and then 85 to 89 and then 90 to 94. So you can see our classes are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 just to cover an extra one. So this is what I meant by we're going to have approximately 10 to 11 uh, classes if I use the class uh, difference as four. So you can decide what you want to use, but make sure it's not more than 12 and not less than six, otherwise it will have some errors in our calculation. So the next thing is we are going to create the frequency. Now this was the, the data, then the frequency, which is going to be represented by F or the number of times those values are appearing in this range. So you want values from the range of 40 to 44.5. So let's look for the values. So in the first, we don't have those values. In the second, we don't. Uh, the third, we have, uh, not yet, uh, hmm. Fourth, we have 44.5 in thousand form, but we do have this value that falls, that is 43.9. And then we have 42.3 and 42.8. We have 40.6. We have 43.5. And that's it. So the, the values that are falling in that range are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's how we get it. And then we want to get values between 45 and 49. So we have 45.2. So up to 49. So we have 49, 46, 45, 49. All right, so we have 49.2. So remember our class limits here, do not forget, this is going to be 39.5 to 44.5. And then this is going to be from 40. 4.5 to 49.5. And this is going to be, so the 44.5 and 49.5, you remember it's going to be in between here, so this is going to be 54.5, then 54.5 as well, up to 59.5, then from 59.5 up to 64.5 and so on and so forth. So when we are picking the values from 44 to 49, we are picking values above 44.5 so and less than 49.5. So 49.2 is 1, 46.8 is 2, 45.2 is 3, 45.5 is 4, this is uh, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then we have 49.8. So remember the 49.5, 49.5, 49.5, 49.5, 49.5, 49.5, 49.5, 49.5, 49.5, 49.5, 49.5, 49.5, 49.5, 49.5, 49.5, 49.5, 49.5, 49.5, 49
is falling in this range and also in this range, so it can be either. So we have to pick one, two, three, four, and then uh, five. So we have five here, and then 49.5 up to 54. 0.5 is going to be here. So this is going to form part of it, 49.8, since it falls in this range, and then any value now above 49.5, and 49.8 is above 49.5. So we look for values up to 54.5. So we have this value 52.1, we have 50.0, so one, two, and then we have this value, which is 49.8, because it is above 49.5, so three values. And then we have 53.3, so one, two, three, four values. And then we have, uh, 54.9, not yet, four values, and then 52.65 values, and 54.46 values. So any value now above 54.5 and 59.5 falls on this range. So 54.5 and above. So 54, but less than 59.5. So we have this is one two, three, four. There's this value we had left off, so this is supposed to be seven, four, uh, five. 59.7 now doesn't apply because we want from up to 59.5. So we said we have one, two, three, for five, six, seven, seven. So 59.7 does not apply because we want up to 59.5. So we have seven values. And then from 59.5 to 64.5. So that is 59.5 to 64. So we have this is one, two, uh, three, four. Now five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we have eleven. Remember, we are doing up to sixty four. Point five. So that's why we didn't pick 67 and 69, and that's the reason why still we did not pick the values that we didn't pick, like 66. So next we want from 64.5 up to 69.5. So let's see how much we have from 64. So we have one, two. Three. This is above 69.53. So we have three values. And then now we want from 69.5 up to 74.5. So 69.5 up to 74. So we have one here. Two. This applies. So this will not apply because it's above. Three. Four. This does not apply. This does not apply. Four. Five. Now this applies. Five. 
So we have five values. And then from 74.5 to 79.5. So 74.5, we have this now, this value we had not taken before, that is 76.31. 79.6 will not work because it's in the next class. So 1, 2, Three. We have three values. And then we need uh, between 79.5 and 84.5. So that means you're going to take all the values that are remaining. That is 179.61, So two values. So we do not actually need the 85 to 89 and 1994 because most of our values are adding at 84.2 so these two classes they do not need to be there so make sure when you add all your frequencies they should total to 50 so that you can be able to know that you have put all the values correctly so that's how we make a uh, grouped data from a raw data sometimes you, you notice that you need to to do a bit of some Cancelling out. This is important so that you can see the values that you have not placed yet. Be keen on the class limits because the class limits are going to help you to know exactly where and values which fall into that specific class interval. So you notice we didn't use 40 to 44. This is the class boundary. We use the class limit, which is going to be 39.5. So this is the lower limit, and the upper limit is 44.5. So the next class starts from 44.5 to 49.5. Although the class interval has been written as 45 to 49. So we pick the lower limit and the upper limit. So this is what enables us to get the values from the data, not 40 and 44. So be very careful, especially when you are calculating the frequency or the number of times that specific values are appearing. So that's how we create a group data. So we are going to use the same information later on in our next lesson. So you can you can get more sets of data in our app. So try to create the uh, grouped data by yourself and see if you can be able to do so. See you in the next lesson.